When designing your home network, or maybe even moving home, you may be wondering where the best position for your router is to get the absolute best performance possible. In today's video, I have eight tips for you to help you decide the best position for the router in your own home. Hey everyone, it's Chris back again from HomeNetworkGeek.com where we talk about everything home networking. If you enjoy the video and find it helpful, it'd be great if you could drop it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now before the first tip, let's quickly talk about wireless versus wired connections. Before going over the tips on where to position your router, it's first worth thinking about whether you're going to be using wired or wireless connections, or perhaps even a mix of both. Now ideally you would go for a wired solution here, but I appreciate that isn't always practical, especially if you have a lot of devices, as it can end up being quite time consuming and sometimes expensive. But the benefit of going wide is that the position of the router really doesn't matter as much. You'll get pretty much the same performance regardless of whether the signal has to travel down a 10 foot cable or a 60 foot cable. Whereas with a wireless setup, the wireless signal given out by the router will have a limited range. And there is degradation that can occur being caused by interference distance and obstructions. For the purpose of this video, we'll assume that you're gonna be connecting your devices wirelessly to your router, and so the position of the router really does matter. Start in a central location when you come to think about placing your router. In most homes, this will be the living room or the dining room, the hubs of family homes. Wi-Fi signal gets dispersed at a 360 degree angle, but that's not to say it's practical to place the router in the very central point of the most central room in your home. And you do want to avoid positioning the router around the perimeter of the home as the thick external solid walls can affect the Wi-Fi signal. My recommendation would be to identify the most central room in your home and then place the router against the centermost wall in that room. This will allow the router to be kept up against a wall and out the way, yet hopefully still be able to disperse the signal to every corner of your home. Wi-Fi signals are essentially radio waves which travel up and down as well as out. Therefore, it's best to position the router high up if possible, like on a shelf or a bookcase. Although not necessary if you live in a single story home like me, but if you have more than one story, you might find that positioning the router higher up on the ground floor will give you a better signal on the upper floor. If you have a three story home, you may want to consider positioning the router on the middle floor to help cater for all three floors. Regardless of whether it's the most central room in your home, always avoid placing the router in your kitchen. Kitchens will typically be home to lots of metal devices like pots and pans and other electrical devices. Metal is known to disrupt radio waves, with a Wi-Fi signal essentially being radio waves. Another reason to avoid the kitchen is down to one single appliance that pretty much everyone will have in their kitchens, and that's a microwave. Not only are microwaves made of metal, but they also operate on the same 2.4 gigahertz frequency band as a lot of other devices. You may not know this, but your Wi-Fi signal can be affected when the microwave is in operation. The tiny amount of radiation that escapes can also affect the signal. Radio waves often have trouble traveling through walls that are made from thick materials like brick, stone, or concrete. Many modern homes are made using wood even the external walls, with just a small amount of drywall on the inside. If you have a home that's built in this way, the external walls shouldn't be too much of a worry when it comes to your Wi-Fi signal. But if your home is made from thick, solid walls, you definitely want to consider the position of the router in relation to these walls. Another tip is to consider the objects directly around the router once you have decided on where you want to position it. Metal objects, water, and even mirrors can affect a Wi-Fi signal. So try and position items made from these materials as far away from the router as you reasonably can. Although it may not make as much difference compared to the other tips in this video, the position of the antennas on the router still matters, especially if you live in a multi-story home. Positioning the antennas upwards will help disperse the Wi-Fi signal laterally, while placing them on their side will help get a better Wi-Fi signal up and down. If your router has two antennas, you can always get the best of both worlds by positioning one facing upwards and one to the side. Considering how easy it is to adjust the antennas, it's always worth implementing this tip, regardless of how much difference it does actually make to the Wi-Fi signal. Now this may be difficult if the most central room in your home is the living room, the dining room, or the family room, 
but try and avoid placing your router in a room where lots of people tend to gather. The reason for this is because water can inhibit Wi-Fi signals. Given that us humans are made mostly of water, a lot of us gathered in a relatively small space can cause interference with the Wi-Fi signal. Even out in public, you may have noticed a Wi-Fi signal begin to diminish when lots of people tend to gather. This may not necessarily be down to them connecting their devices to the same Wi-Fi network that you're using, but because the amount of water nearby is affecting the signal. Now you probably do want a good Wi-Fi signal in the rooms where people tend to gather, but just bear in mind this could reduce the quality of the Wi-Fi signal in other areas of your home. Now chances are you won't be able to influence where your neighbours choose to place their routers. But it is still worth knowing that routers that use the same channel or even a neighbouring channel can interfere with your Wi-Fi signal. If you do happen to know the position of your neighbour's router, try and position yours as far away as you reasonably can. Placing your router in a central room will pretty much tick this box anyway. You can also change the settings on your router so that you're broadcasting the signal on a different channel. Just make sure you're at least two channels away from your neighbor who has likely kept theirs as the default if they don't really know what they're doing. So I hope you found these tips helpful and now have a better idea on where to position your router to get the best performance possible. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to turn on notifications. Also, don't forget to pay a visit to homenetworkgeek.com where I have a ton of articles that cover everything home networking. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.